everybody. Welcome to the chicken coop. So today my plan is is to do a walk around, look and see what's salvageable, what's not. Um, and I'm gonna start taking all the chicken wire and stuff down and take doors down and start getting them in piles of stuff that's usable or not. And the stuff that's not, I'm just gonna burn and get rid of that. Um, and then salvage the other stuff because we're gonna build another chicken coop area in the barn. Um, and the reason for that is this old garage, it, it's starting to fall apart and it's gonna need more work than what it's gonna evolve to just build a new little coop out back. And we're gonna keep our other coop pretty much as self-efficient as possible, obviously except for food and water. Um, but even the water, we're gonna try to do uh, a watering system out there with some uh, big totes, big plastic food grade totes and uh, the East Rock rain collection. Um, so hey, yeah, and this building's starting to fall down. It's leaning pretty bad. Um, the roof is leaking, the electrical, I'm kind of afraid if we leave it, it may cause damage. Uh, so we're gonna get that taken all out. Um, so yeah, so today's basically the start of the chicken coop destruction. So I'll just do a little walk around and uh, show you some of the stuff that I've been talking about, stuff that has to be moved and you know, so on. So I'll just flip the camera around. So we had the quail pens in here. These on the weekend, I'm gonna get moved to the barn so that they're out of the way and I'm gonna just clean this all up, get the floor cleaned and uh, start dismantling. This old garage, <clears throat> we kind of just put the chickens in here and, and while well, we built up this wall and then uh, had the chickens originally just in there. We had this area where I'm standing where the breeders and the cat house and all that all is was just uh, a clean area. We did have uh, baby chicks and stuff. We had some pens here I had taken down so that we can move the brooder or the chicken brooders in here. But yeah, the nesting boxes, all this uh, chicken wire has to be ripped off. Um, I wish I could save it, but I can't. It would just take way too much time and for the price of just buying some new stuff, I'm not even gonna waste my time on that. All the food containers and that can be saved. I put up all these trees and branches for the chickens to, for roosting and stuff like that. All got to come down. And then this stuff I'll just cut up and burn. Um, Cause this whole garage is gonna be tore down this year. The doors all off. And then the lights, they're dirty. It's in a chick coop, that's to be expected. But I can take that all off, clean it. Take all the lights down. And I want to take all the panels off. Yeah, it's not the best, but maybe I can use the panels for on uh, other projects, you know, the new coop, what, you know, whatever. So, and the windows, I'm going to take the windows out and I believe we're going to put those in the greenhouse um, so that we have uh, light in the greenhouse. And then this side here has got sliding windows so it'll help with ventilation in the greenhouse. Just mostly a lot of little things to get started, ripping down the chicken wire and stuff like that. I'm gonna get started on that. And uh, start taking the boards and that down. And uh, see how long my fingers can uh, withstand the cold. Cause it was, when I came outside it was minus 27 degrees Celsius, I think it was. Wow, something like that anyway, something crazy. <laughs> But it's warming up. It's warming up a lot. Um, the next few weeks, we're supposed to be nice, really nice temperatures here. It's supposed to be like minus one, zero. Um, and then the week after that, we're going to start hitting in the plus um, temperatures. So excited about that. Spring's definitely coming. It's here. So time to get prepped and ready and let our season start. <laughs> Yeah, so about 10 minutes into uh, taking some stuff down, my battery of my drill died. I didn't expect that. But uh, trying to take down the chicken wire, it's a little harder on the hands. So I have to come up with something. I might get the, the grinder and just do some cuts and uh, get it off that way because I can't pull it off. It pinches the fingers pretty good. It hurts. So you got to come up with that, go get a few extra tools and uh, go ahead and charge the batteries for my drills. That's going to take some time, so I'm going to go in and warm up and uh, get back at it again. Um, 
but I got some other things I got to do too. So I'm going to bounce back and forth and uh, start back on it. So at least we got to start and uh, next time I'm going to have charged batteries. Mm -hmm.